Hello and welcome to the verdict here on the club's official YouTube channel where Blues have been beaten by four goals to nil at Allen Road against Leeds United. It was a very difficult game for Blues indeed. They were behind after 18 minutes when Ross McCormack put the home side ahead. Rudolf Austin grabbed a second and then Matt Smith a third. All before half-time, Lee Clark's side did show signs of a revival. A few chances went begging but Matt Smith got his second and put the game beyond doubt in the second half to make it 4-0. One to forget four Blues and their travelling support and in the commentary box alongside me also want to forget it is Paul Tate and it was it was a dis difficult game right from the word go because Leeds started strongly and, and, and Blues didn't. Yeah right from the first whistle uh, we, were, we were in trouble they wanted it more than us we looked disorganised today uh, in the last few weeks last four or five games looked quite solid um, just didn't get started today from the very first whistle um, to the end of the first half it was all over the shop we were lucky to go down you know, in 3-0 and what about the goals that, that were conceded from a defensive point of view? Absolutely shocking. Um, I mean, as an ex-player and as a supporter of the club, um, I just couldn't fathom out what was going on out there. I was sitting there, obviously, sitting there next to you, I'm ahead of my hands. I, was, I couldn't understand. It was basic, basic defending from some senior players out there today. Uh, just didn't, didn't happen for us at all. Uh, but you've got to take the positives out of it, like I keep on saying. Take the positive out of every game. My positives were today, the second half we did quite well, second half, but Leeds obviously sat, up, sat off a bit in the second half. Um, but the first half, the game was lost, the game was lost, you know, we were lucky to go 3-0 down. That change made a difference, didn't it, the break? And when Leeds got their fourth, it was at a time where Blues had three or four big chances to get back into the game. Yeah, we, we did have some chances, second half. Um, even in the first half, Berkey had a couple of chances. One of them I thought was definitely should have um, scored. Second half, you know, about three or four chances before they scored again. One of them goes in, it could change it, uh, little things, you know, the crowd, you know, you get on their backs a little bit. But we didn't deserve anything from the game at all. You know, the game was lost in the first half. Um, it was as, as poor as I've seen us all season. And I suppose the epitome of how it is for Blues at the minute, the only thing that's consistent is their inconsistency in the sense that just a few weeks ago they were winning by four goals to nil. It's quite strange, isn't it? We beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-1, beat Swans in the Cup, beat Millwall 4-0. Then we all go into the Bolton game, as, you know, for the first time of the season, probably as favourites to win the game, we get turned over. Uh, then the, the, the international break, and then that performance today. It, I mean, the manager's in there; he, he can't fathom it out. You see him on the side, on the touchline, you know, uh, during the game, kicking the floor, out in his hands. He, he, play, he can only do so much. Managers can only do so much. As soon as they step over that white line, players have got to take some responsibility. I'm afraid. Ten points from twelve games so far. That's five. From bottom, a win really needed next week now. It's a big game, isn't it, Derby? I mean, it's going to be really another tough game for us to go to. You know, they're, they're eighth in the table. It's going to be a really, really tough game. We've got Charlton at home after that. It's going to be a six-pointer by the look of it because they're down there with us. Uh, we do not want to go into the Christmas period coming up because it's come quick and fast now. Um, you know, down there. If we're down there, you know, with the squad that we've got, you know, a few more injuries. But the loss of Jonathan Spector today was massive for us. Um, it's tough times ahead, I think. You know, the players are going to be very, very hurting from that. It's going to be tough to pick themselves up. And Tom Adiemi were here, was ill as well, and they missed yeah. him just as much as perhaps Spectre in the midfield. He was a massive miss for us. He's, he's been a powerhouse for us. You know, he's coming into his own this season. I know he's only, what, 20, 21, but he's, he's done the last few games, been absolutely fantastic, he has. Um, but Spectre, to me, because his experience is a big, big loss. We're losing for seven weeks, that's a massive loss. First half in the, in the midfield, that's where we lost it. They outnumbered us in there. And they didn't have to do much to win because we defended so poorly. It was a very, very poor defensive performance in the first half. Well, thanks, Paul. Thanks for joining no us in the commentary box. And we'll be back next week where Blues travel to Derby County in the Skybet Championship.